private equity firm Bain Capital is about to finalize its acquisition of consulting firm Guidehouse for $5.3 billion including debt, and an agreement is expected as early as Monday. As the director of SDA, Derek Tournier has been a vocal champion of change, and he's not afraid to be a maverick or a wildcard if necessary for the warfighter. Find out more about how Tournier is changing the acquisition paradigm within the space defense landscape. Join the Potomac Officers Club's 2024 Space Summit in February to hear Tournier speak in person. Paraton has won a potential eight-year, $2.8 billion task order to provide enterprise operations and maintenance services for U.S. Special Operations Command. CGI has promoted Stephanie Ackman from Defense Chief Technology Officer to Vice President of its federal business. KBR said revenue grew 9% year-over-year to $1.8 billion and reported new contract awards worth $21.8 billion in the third quarter of 2023. Donald Speranzini, a defense and space industry veteran, has assumed the role of Vice President and General Manager of Ground Systems and Services at Ball Aerospace. Iron Mountain has agreed to acquire IT asset disposition services provider Regency Technologies for approximately $200 million as part of efforts to expand its IT asset remarketing and recycling capabilities. Enlightenment Capital-backed IntelliBridge has acquired digital transformation firm Ravacom. Join Potomac Officers Club's 2023 Homeland Security Summit on November 15, 2023. Visit potomacofficersclub.com slash events. BAE Systems Land and Armaments Business Segment has secured a $211.5 million contract modification to produce and deliver additional amphibious combat vehicles to the U.S. Marine Corps. Mark Thompson, formerly a senior vice president at Arcfield's Global Defense and Security Solutions, has been promoted to president and general manager of the company sector.